Hey, hello! How you doing? It's good to see you again. Hello! Welcome back to Mike's Mike. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I'm back. Whew. Hey there. <laughs> so, see if you're new here. This is going to be a really long and sad video. <laughs> if you've been waiting patiently, for my comeback, which is six years in the making. This isn't going to be much better. In fact, it might be worse in so many ways. But I'm going to try and get through it. The wee skit that you just saw at the start, that was my dad. He passed away about six months after I filmed it. Uh, I remember Whenever I did film it, he turned to my mum and he was like, uh, he was going all chuffed, like, I'm going to be a star. <laughs> but like, nothing that I wrote or filmed felt like it was good enough to put that wee skit on, you know? But it's sad it didn't get used. And years went on, and it genuinely felt like no matter what I did, it wouldn't get used. But life got more complicated. Near the end of 2019, my wife was diagnosed with colon cancer and it had metastasized in her lungs. She fought it for over three years. But unfortunately, she passed away in November 2022, 20 days after our 7th anniversary. There are no words I can possibly say to even begin to convey how painful our passing was. I genuinely hope that even if you're someone who, if you're someone out there that I hate with every fibre of my being, and there are a couple of you, I still hope you never experience something like this. Some days I just want to give up. Some days I just want to give up, but I promised her I wouldn't. So here I am. I've also moved twice. <laughs> See if we're if you're going by the last video uploaded. Uh, yeah, I've moved twice. I'm sorry that he's never got to see my last place, but the place that I lived in uh, with my wife, it was a great place and I had amazing housemates and it pissed on the house that we were in before that for like a height. Like, see if I'm, if I'm just being totally honest, like that house was shite, but then the house that we moved into before this house, like, was minty, it was so good, it was so good. The old house, shite. It was a basement, fucking mouldy. It was terrible, but it was cheap. So you know. Anyway, <laughs> but after she passed, it hurt to live in the the place that I was in. Everything hurt. couldn't even go to Starbucks because I was so used to ordering two drinks, you know, one for me and one for her. And see just that like small act of like, that small act of like being like, I can I get like a chai tea latte and whatever she wanted and the fact that I wasn't saying that, 
That was enough to ruin a day. And that's one thing in a sea of like a hundred things, because the whole reason that I moved to America in the first place was to be with her. So to suddenly be in America without her, well... I didn't know who I was. In many ways I still don't. So I moved. And much to the chagrin of my family and friends back in Scotland, I didn't move back to Scotland. Uh, I didn't do things by half measures, so I packed up a U-Haul and I drove right across the country, which took about four days. And I moved to California. I got a regular ass job, and I'm applying for more work. In between that and voiceover work, I'm trying to get back to living. If we can call it that. So why now? Why come back now? In a world where seas of YouTubers are fleeing from the site at an alarming rate, and everything's political, and life is only getting more and more difficult, would I possibly want to come back into any kind of limelight? Because I still have something to say. That's like been the biggest hurdle for me. Not knowing if I had anything original left to say. I mean, I've written countless scripts and I've even filmed several of them, but none of them for one reason or another felt right. It was like I was trying way too hard to be this persona of myself. But I'm just me. I wanted to put out like these really nicely polished and edited videos with all these like fancy wee transitions and everything, but honestly editing's a pain in the dick. And while I'd still love to put out that kind of content and like, you know, make it something that I'm proud of, I had way more fun editing the podcasts and uh and stuff where it was much less editing. Like I mean podcasts was still a shitload of editing, but like it was less because it was like I was only worrying about like I was it was much less editing because I was only worrying about like the audio I didn't have to worry that everything was framed correctly didn't have to worry my face was here and all that shit so I mean this doesn't mean that there won't be editing going forward like I've just gone to a point where like my anger and like my yearning for a creative outlet has just exceeded my laziness. <laughs> so before we talk about what's next, I'm going to try and answer some questions that I suspect you might have. Why the name change? Well, I loved I loved Mike's Mike. I thought it was a great great wee name. But didn't he really say anything about about me? Like, you know, like, it, it didn't he say anything? Like, Mike's Mike. And the intentional misspelling, because it was M-I-Q versus M-I-K-E, it basically meant that no one reading it said it right. They'd call it, like, Mix Mick and stuff like that. And... Aye. But whenever I was working at, like, a, a comic and toy store, and shouts to Toshi Station, they nicknamed me Highlander. Uh, cause there can be only one, and there weren't exactly that many Scotsmen cutting about over in the States. So you combine that with the VO, which stands for voiceover. Pretty much tells you what you need to know, eh? I'm a Scottish voice actor. That says everything without meaning to say a word. So here we are. Uh, where have I been? Well, if like the explanation before didn't tell you, uh, I basically burned out. I had several crises all at once, and by the end of my wife's life, I was a full-time caregiver. And not even a particularly good one at that. No, I did my best. I just didn't think about YouTube. Or creating much of anything at all. I did start Twitch streaming, and that was a huge thing for me. I had, I have this absolutely incredible community, 
Um, they've gotten me through a lot of tough times. Uh, the day after my wife passed, I actually went and streamed and just almost had like a, a mini eulogy <laughs> for her, which is a really bizarre thing, but like I just didn't know what else to do, and she was a huge part of the community as well. We called her Wife Lander, because I was Highlander, so she was Wife Lander. And I, they loved her too. But yeah, so if you want to be a part of of my Twitch streams, it's Highlander VO on Twitch. Come on in, uh, come on and slam, and give me all those Amazon Prime subs, those Bezos pesos, and uh, we'll fuck around. We'll be fine. Um, where's Lorenzo? Are we still friends? Yes, we're still friends. Uh, he's still back in in my old state. He's got two amazing kids now, and he's got a wonderful wife. Um, him and I, along with our other buddy Taylor, we put a podcast for a while called Joystocked. Um, I think you can still listen on iTunes and Spotify, and if you like what you heard, like Billy Taylor over on social media, he will like he'll hate that, but like that, I wouldn't mind doing it again. Uh, I would also love to like film some stuff with Lorenzo. Like I don't know how it would work now that I'm like we're on different coasts, but it would be it'd be cool. I need to involve that man somehow. <laughs> um, what was the secret project that I talked about in my last video? So that was a really ambitious project. It was very in depth. It involved a lot of work and people, and it fell through because. Well, the more people you involve, the more likely it is to fall through. Um, I'm not going to mention what it was because I still have a couple ideas on how I can maybe get off the ground, but I don't want to tell you what it is in case it ever happens and in case it doesn't. You know, will it happen? Who's to say? <laughs> um, I guess the I guess that goes to like um, what's next? Why should you subscribe? And those are great questions. <laughs> I've got about... I've got about a dozen video ideas uh, cutting about, you know? And uh, the, all of them focus on things that I love and the things that have gotten me through the last five years of my life. I might go back to nicer video qualities for them, like, because, like, as much as I like doing this, uh, I do kind of like my 4K visuals, you know, I think there's something about that, I'm like, yeah, that's... Mm. Um, but in the meantime, it did feel appropriate to just get this one out. Nothing fancy, just me, microphone, my camera. So... If you want to watch a uh, mid-30s Scotsman talk about video games, <laughs> children's media and trading cards and try to work out how to navigate his life, then go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> Until then, I'm Mike and this is Highlander VO. I'll catch you on the next one.